Good day for friends. Something really nice in today. When do I get something not nice in? Come on, let's be honest. Um, and I'll show you what it says. You'll know where it is straight away. Here you go. There you go. Mick Thomas signature. Ibanez MTM 20. Made in Indonesia. Bolt on neck. Special signature pickups in there. Mick Thomas signature pickups. They are active pickups. I thought they were black ass, but they're not. Nice tremolo, low pro tremolo. Is it the, uh, I'm not sure what model it is. So I look at it. Blocked off, oh it's blocked off. Oh it's blocked off, oh that makes things easier. You ain't gonna want that setting up is it? That's fantastic. So it's in for a complete setup. Let me just find out, I've got the page up there. I've got the page up there with all the gubbins on it, on my iPad. There we go, engineer to take no prisoners. There you go, it's a screw. Ibanez MTM20, Mick Thompson, white. <clears throat> Apparently no longer available. Engineer to take no prisoners, specs. Get straight to the specs. What does it show you? Not a lot. Doesn't show you anything. No, it's just blank. Just completely blank. Right, where are you? I'll show you. That yellow. Column there, it's all blank. What a load of old crap that is. So we'll go back to uh, back to here. <clears throat> I have put aggression. I've been chosen Duncan HB 105 MT Active One Bookers. Blah blah blah. I'm eco based on Bookers. Keep going. Maximum sustain, no clarity thanks to five piece neck construction. Wizard three neck. That's right. Good neck to Rock solid tuning stability and provision via the FX Edge three bridge. Just a quick skim through. Uh, but uh, but uh, never been never seen one of these before in real life. Fine tuners, blah 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 blah, because it's fixed to the body of MT20. You also receive ultimate string to body string vibration transfer. Way would do. Blah 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 blah. Hi, Benes. Mick Thompson, Signature MTM20. Sorry, I'm not looking at the camera. I'm actually reading. It's not looking. You can just see my profile, can't you? Electric guitar designed for Slipknot's Mick Thompson. Custom 7 fretboard inlay. Duncan HB, Duncan HB 105 MT Active Unbookers are engineered for metal. Metal, there you go. Five piece neck construction. FX bridge, FX edge 3 bridge. Wizard 3 neck. Blah 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 blah. Leave subtle to behind. There you go. That's it. That's all you need to know on my guitar. That's really boring. I don't really, to be honest, I don't read the text back on guitars. I get a guitar in. I look at it. I see what it needs doing to it from the guitar's perspective, not from what the internet says it needs. Anyway, what do I know about AS4? What does it need? Well, I've worn a bit of crossbow fret rocker. There are four high frets, and they, that is with a bit of relief in the neck, so I expect there to be one or two more once I have uh, got the strings off and straighten the neck, so it's going to have a, a bit of a fret level. I imagine it'll all come in under a um, intensive setup, which is what I plan to do. An intensive setup is basically a complete strip and rebuild from the bottom up. It will get the frets up to five frets leveled, re -crammed. all the frets will be polished, the fingerboard will be oiled, the electrics will be checked, uh, all the tuners and everything will be checked, locking up will be checked, I will check the neck for stability, make sure I'm getting the neck straight enough. Um, like I say, I'll be electrics tomorrow, I'll just one volume on there, makes things easier, check the electrics and I will be setting up a tremolo. Now a tremolo, when you bring a tremolo guitar to me, there's always an extra charge for the tremolo set up. My, Setup prices are four guitars with non tremolo, fixed bridge. Um, a tremolo setup floor rose on its own would cost you £25. With a setup, I will charge you like £10 extra. So I'll have a read up on how this tremolo works. I imagine this, 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 this is a lock in kind of screw just there, which makes it a basically makes it a stop tail piece. Um, oh, it's not a tremolo. I thought it was a tremolo. It is not a tremolo at all. Well, that's good news. Uh, that saves him some money. And it means I ain't got faff about setting the thing up. It is just a fixed bridge. I never knew that. Well, that's fantastic. Look at that. There you go. There's no tremolo all in there. Nothing for a tremolo arm. Good stuff. It looks like a tremolo, but it ain't one. Very, very strange. Never seen that before. I will go and do a little bit of reading up. So anyway, going to crack on with this. Going to get this one done today, I think. Um, I'll have the strings off. I'm going to have the uh, probably going to have a neck off to get these frets done, so I don't, you know, I'm not going to have an accident digging it into the body. Lovely looking guitar. I might just get this plugged in 
uh, before I set or set, uh, get on to working on it because I like to give it a little sound test before I move on. Strings we're going with are an uh, always produce shiny bag on them. Look, skinny top, heavy bottom. Uh, I'll be tuning this to drop C, so I will be setting that up differently because uh, it's not set up to drop C at the moment. I think it's just in drop D. I'm gonna have a little plug in, gonna have a little play, then I'm gonna crack on with the work and I'll come back and show you how we get along. So here is the neck off of the guitar and after I straighten the neck, got uh, a not straight edge on there, make sure it's straight. I'll show you it's straight just before I continue. The neck is straight with no gaps under there at all. There are no less than 13 frets needing attention in certain areas and I can show you Maybe you can pick up the areas in black. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. And I'm going to go across with fret rocker, and hopefully you can hear it from where you are. Fret rocker, and I'm just going to whisk straight across. This is always for the customer. That area. There. There. It's not very stable on this, so that's going to rock about anyway, but I'll try and keep it stable. This is a rock. That's already one, two, three, four, four frets there, this edge here. Five, six, seven. All over this one. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. This one's really high, it's thirteen. Thirteen. Bit across, tapped them with an hammer just to see if they're not seated right. They are seated right. They have thirteen high frets, so it means we have to skim the whole lot of the frets. It's why I've took the locking nut off. Once you get this all clamped up, I'll affix this end to a piece of thirty mil MDF or three centimeter MDF. I use the MDF which will replace the body, and I'll get it all on the neck jig. Get it supported underneath, and I will go across with a level beam and level all the frets, and then it can be in the re recrowning. Once they've been recrowned, they're going to get all polished, and then we'll treat the neck, um, and then we'll get the neck back on the guitar. So round about all in all, round about a five hour job. Um, polishing takes the most time, using five or six different grits of paper, uh, but we'll get it all done proper. I'll film part of the work, so next time you see this, I will probably have it all on the um, neck jig ready for leveling. Not the quick job I hope this one. It was going to be a two hour job, now it's going to be a five hour job and it's only going to make a few quid more. You know, a complete fret level is going to cost you 100 quid with your setup, whereas a intensive setup was 75 quid. So for 25 quid extra, I've got three hours extra work. That is the way it goes. You pay for the service. Um, I will do what needs doing. I will come back soon. Right guys, I have a very bright, shiny face right now because I'm actually facing the outside window, but I've turned the camera around just to show this guitar on the neck jig and we've got it zeroed out on the dial so I'll zoom in a, a little but I'll try and keep my neck in there we're zeroed out on the dials we are strapped in um, the neck is bolted to a piece of MDF which is acting as the body or substitute for the body so it's all strapped in we're all strapped in everywhere the neck is dead straight and we're going to level these frets and how we're going to level them is bear with me a second We have a straight beam milled flat both edges of this and we have 240 grit paper on one side and 400 on the other and we're going to skim across the whole lot now we have 13 frets on here that are high um, i don't think you're going to be able to hear how they are from where the camera is because the camera is quite far back now i'll take my fret rocker and i'll just go quickly across the frets and you're listening for a rock there you go In many areas on some frets, that's a high one as well. So here's three, four, 
five, six, same one, six, seven, eight, very high, nine, a little bit high, to ten, eleven, very high there, twelve, the very high on my corner, thirteen. So we have 13 high frets, so we need to remove these high spots on all of these frets, but not remove anything from the low ones, or remove as little as possible. The fact remains that we are going to be removing a tiny bit from those ones that are not affected. This is why we go with the 400 grit, the smooth stuff, afterwards. But what I need to do is keep marking up, keep shaving off, until we've taken all these high spots down, so all the frets are level with each other. Once that's done, we'll go across the 400 grit, remove the scratches, and then when we've flattened out the frets, we need to put the arc back in, so we're going to re crown them as well. It's quite a long winded job, this. Um, a few hours in this. Not an expensive job for what you're getting. Um, but without further ado, I'm going to crack on. I'm going to just take a little bit off these areas with a file before I go across with this, just to get it pretty close to where I need to be. It means I have to do less work with the beam. So I'm going to crack on with that, and I'll come back and show you a little bit more shortly. Right, I've levelled the frets, I've used a couple of methods. Um, and the, what I did first was where the frets were really high, I used a flat file, built or made specifically for the job, and went across, brought them all down to level, went across the whole neck using this. Once that was done, and I checked that we got pretty close to where we need to be, finished off with 400, uh, 240 grit, and I'm now, I've just penned all of the frets for black marker, I'm going to go across with 400 grit, just to smooth them off, make it easy to polish them up later, so it's just a matter of backwards and forwards removing all of the marker pen and if I've done my job right all the pen should come off Let's have a look, a few more strokes and there, all the black marker pen is off. There's none left on the top of any of these frets. It means we've got the frets absolutely level. We've, the scratches are all this way. We've removed some using the 400 grit, and we're now going to go over one more time with the fret, fret rocker, make sure we're level. And I'm going to do it pretty quick because I know these are level because I've already checked them. I've just really done this for the camera. No rock anywhere. Now what we have done is, we have flattened the top of all of the frets. It's some very slightly, some a little bit more than others. So we need to re-crown them, which is the next job. And it's much easier to crown these off of a jig than it is on. So once I've determined that all these frets are level, which they are, I'm going to remove this from the jig, I'm going to remove it from a piece of MDF. I'm going to turn it around on the MDF and I'm going to do it on a different bench. Just using my crowning file, a couple of crowning files. I'll show you the process as we get to it. I'm just filling time by talking, by the way, while I'm checking these frets. But these frets are all absolutely level. So the next part of the process is where a fret as a crown. We've just slightly flattened the tops. We need to put that crown back in. So that is going to be the next job. Once that's done, we'll move on to the polishing. The polishing is where the hours come in, where the time comes in. So I'm just going to blow off the dust. Give that a brush. And I will show you shortly how we go on about crowning the frets. So stay tuned for that. And here we are, we have this uh, Mick Thompson signature uh, guitar, and I've just finished off polishing the frets. Final polish always with some steel wool, and they look brilliant. So the next part of the job is, I didn't show any of the polishing because I've got that much on, and making videos takes time. Uh, and he does know though that I always do make a video, so I promised him uh, I'll get this one posted up as soon as possible. What I'm gonna do next is, now the frets are all level, polished, gonna remove all this tape, We'll get some mineral oil, let it soak into the wood. We're going to nourish the wood, clean it all up, and then we can start putting the guitar back 
together. This one will be ready today, so uh, Auntie might even come round and um, have a look at it before he goes to work, pick it up maybe. Let's see how we are. And here we are with the neck off of a guitar. Obviously I need to, uh, there's, there's a frets, all levelled, uh, crowned and polished. Need to get some mineral oil into the rosewood uh, so I can get a good clean, uh, clean up my neck. A couple of uh, points of uh, interest here. That hole looks really, really big there. I'd imagine I'm going to plug that slightly with some, uh, could get anything in there. Because there's no way the screw is going to bind and bite into that. I'm going to stick a couple of match stalks, not match stalks, match stalk type kind of uh, kind of gear, maybe some um, cocktail sticks in there for when I put the screw in, just to give it something to bite into. We've got some here, got some here, look. Here we go. I'm not going to glue anything in or anything like that. I'm just, I just want something in there so um, that when I put the screws back in, these screws back in, it bites, got something to bite to, and it's not going to move about. So without further ado, I'm going to crack on with that and um, I'll likely get the neck back on the guitar and then I'll come back and give you a little update um, when, we're at the, when we're ready to put strings on. So here we are with the neck back on the guitar. Blah blah blah. I did fill in that in a uh, bit of a neck there. I put about five or six pieces of match stalk in there. Um, just to give us uh, something to bind into. The neck is on superb, the guitar is looking great, nice and solid on there. Like I say, active pickups, uh, not a tremolo but it looks like one, so that's going to be quite easy to do. Bit of a pain, bit of a ball ache having to string them this way, because it's a little bit longer because you're working against yourself. Strings we are going with are skinny top heavy bottom Ernie balls or 1052 set, uh, nice fur drop tunings. Here is undecided whether you want to go drop D or drop C. I suspect you're losing every string. You might as well go for a drop C tuning. So that is what we are going to go for. Uh, the locking nuts, clamps, and screws here to go on. I put them on last. That will be the last thing I do. Bridge is already set. So it's just a matter of getting the strings on there, getting it tuned in. String this pretty much the same as you do Floyd Rose. Everything locks in there. Um, takes a little bit longer to get that done, but. We're pretty simple. Um, I will come back once it's done, show you how we got on, and we'll get this video wrapped up. And uh, I'll give Andy a ring if we come and pick this up. Probably even get it tonight. So very good. And here we are with the guitar all finished. I've had it plugged in. Plays fantastic. Looks fantastic. Came in for the once over just to find out what was up with it, um, and to give it a setup, give it a clean, make it all um, ready for playing. It became apparent that the frets were all over the place. There were no fewer than 14 frets out of line with those that were possibly in line. So we went with uh, what we had a choice we had was to give it a complete fret level, which we did. We had a fret level, recrown and polish. Guitar plays superb. I've tuned it down to um, drop C. I've had it plugged in uh, this morning. It plays absolutely beautiful. So that is it. That is this project all finished. There you go, Mick Thompson signature, model number MTM20, Indonesian made Ibanez, reverse headstock, beautiful colouring, uh, Seymour Duncan blackout pickups, I think they're probably Mick Thompson signature pickups, great guitar, but that's it, project finished. So stay tuned to my uh, channel, subscribe if you will, give me a like, whatever you want to do, uh, check my page out on Facebook, uh, which is facebook.com forward slash ng forward slash N-G-O-N-E-S-E-V-E-N, that's forward, facebook.com forward slash N-G-1-7. I'm also on fretfriend.co.uk, there's not anything there really, it's just a front holding page. Uh, but stay tuned, and as always, until the next time, be good to each other, and I will talk to you soon.